Hello, it's Brooke Sutney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today I wanted to get on and really impress upon you the power that you have to create something that goes from the unseen to the seen. It's like magic, another word for manifestation. But before we get into it, I just want to remind you there are two ways to work with me. Both ways are listed below. Y'all, I have an amazing offering coming out soon. So for to be the first to know, for all the discounts, for all the rah-rah, make sure you're on my newsletter there's an opportunity to sign up there below and there's two communities there created for those of us on this manifestation journey i'd love for you to tap in and join one of those below so today i wanted to get on and talk about really understanding our power on this planet truly understanding our power i think that when many of us get kind of bogged down in the day-to-day -day manifestations of things that are happening in our lives, the day-to-day's comings and goings, the taking care of kids, the going to work, the working out, the, you know, doing all the adulting, doing all the errands, I think that we forget who we truly are. So today I wanted to get on and remind all of us, myself included, we could all use the pep talk, that you are a creator, that you are a creator. You know, there are communities, spiritual communities that talk a lot about spells, talk a lot about conjuring, talk a lot about obviously creating things. And in essence, they're all correct, right? They're all correct. It's just whatever we are deciding to call the thing. But we were given the God-given ability, we were given the divine right, we were given the empowerment empowerment on this physical plane to bring things from the unseen to the seen, from the 4D to the 5D to the 3D, right? We're using our God-given abilities, our higher insights, our higher dimensions, our higher self, our God self, whatever you want to call it, from the 5D, we're drawing it down into the 4D. This is our creation plane, the fourth dimension, our imagination, our inner kingdom. And from there, we are creating into the 3D. We are out picturing it. It has become what we have and who we are on the inside. That's why it's deep. That's why so often we're creating things that we don't want to create because we're not aware of who we truly are. And I mean that on a couple of levels. So first of all, most of us don't understand our ability to literally draw down heaven to earth, to bring the unseen to the seen. Everything that's been created on this planet, everything, you know, everything from books to music to cars to automobiles, to homes, to painting, right? To beautiful art. It all came from the unseen realm. Relationships, children, babies, they all came from the unseen to the seen. We birthed them all, right? We were indoctrinated. We were given the power. We were given the seed that was then birthed from the 5D through us, the 4D, the vessel, into the 3D, right? You can think of it beautifully as a birth, right? I used to, when I was pregnant, I read this book called Spirit Babies and it was super, super powerful for me at that time. And I won't get into the whole thing about how my son like appeared to me in a meditation and so forth. But the idea is this, is that we are given souls, spirits, God entrusts us with the spirit that we birth through and have as our child, as our baby. We don't own it. We are just here to help guide it and, you know, shelter it, love it, support it, encourage it. Think of that baby metaphor, this baby analogy as your ideas, as your relationships, as the money, as the job, as the things that you're trying to bring, right? Draw down from the 5D through to the 4D, right? You get the idea, you get the download, you get the higher thought, you bring that thought into your imaginative plane, you start visioning it and seeing it and talking to yourself and creating the thought patterns and creating the feelings and the belief systems and the states of consciousness and you start to speak on it and you start to be it and you start to develop the self-concept of you having it and there you go, my friends. It then becomes ready to be birthed and there you have it. And if you listened to my video yesterday, all about 
need and knowing that is the same process just on the mental plane. Today, I'm talking about the spiritual plane. I'm talking about the creation plane. And I think so often we get kind of drowned in the physicalness and the craziness of the 3D, right? We get we get so caught up in what's happening in the 3D that we don't recognize our power in the 4D. We don't recognize our imagination power. We don't recognize the choice that we get to create, that we get to actually change our lives. And it's not always by brute force, y'all. It's not always like by this hard work. You've got to see it first. The best things are created in our mind and our heart and on the energetic and spiritual plane before they ever reach it to the physical plane because we have to build our belief we have to build our faith we have to start speaking to ourselves as though we have it we have to speaking to ourselves as the person who has the thing that we want we can't allow our dreams to be aborted because We don't have what it takes to believe in them and believe in ourselves and believe in their creation enough to bring them forward. So today, I want to remind you of your incredible power as a creator, your incredible power as a co-creator, the ability to use your free will on earth to birth your dreams, enact your purpose, create from the 5D, create from the heavens above to bring heaven down to earth. There's something you don't like here, change it. There's a relationship that you want, create it. There's a purpose that you have, birth it. See it, feel it, create it, think it, develop that dominant state of thinking and being and feeling, that self-concept that has it, then it gets out pictured and birthed into the 3D. And the more clear your vision is, the more clear your dream is, the more clear of what you want to create and see and bring forth, the easier it is to do it, the easier it is to get behind, the easier it is to put your energy behind it, your heart behind it, your faith behind it, your speech behind it. And that is how we create. We have the ability, my friends, whether you believe it's manifestation, whether you believe that it is purpose work, whether you believe it's a part of your divine journey here on this planet, whether you believe that God has given you a calling, an assignment, that you're anointed, that you are chosen, that you are picked, that you are favored. Either way, the creation works the same. We have the ability to bring the unseen to the seen. We have the ability to create that. I feel that all the time with the creation of books. You all know that I do that. The creation of new ways of seeing and believing and talking about things, new ideas, new mindsets, new relationships, new programs. I got one coming. New ways for us to gather together. All of these things began in the unseen realm. Everything. And my friends, even you, even you. So it is my hope that you're going to join my email newsletter so you can be picking up what I'm putting down and it's coming out, that you subscribe to this channel, you like this video, and that you turn on that bell so you know when the new one drops. I will talk with you soon.